What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today what I want to do is talk about the editor config file and why it's good to use and also show you some of the settings that I have set up for it. The purpose of an editor config file is to make sure that you have consistent styling in your code regardless of which editor you use. Whether it's VS Code, PHP Storm, or any other editor that supports the editor config file. And also some consistent styling when you go from either Windows or Mac OS. So before we jump into that, if you want to support the channel, head on over to PixumWeb.com, WordPress themes, and purchase a copy of DevWP. And with that, you get all the files, the folders, the documentation that'll help you have a very streamlined workflow. I've put in thousands of hours and years into this theme, and it'll help jumpstart your WordPress theme development process. Take a moment, take a look at some of my other videos, and subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's head on over to VS Code. All right, so you see I'm in the root of my theme. I'll go into the terminal, and I'm gonna go to my themes folder. I'm gonna use the alias that I created, so that way I don't have to type out the full path. I'll just type out WP, WPT, and then T for the themes, and it takes me directly here. So instead of having to type out the full path, I just type out my alias, which is a shortcut. If you haven't seen that video, definitely take a moment and take a look at that one. In that, I show you how to set up aliases for Windows and Mac OS. I'll use another one of my aliases to list all the files and folders within this directory. We see we have devwp. I'll change into that directory. And we see we don't have the editor config file. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to use the touch command. This will create the file dot editor config and I'll hit enter. And then I'm going to use my alias over here. Typically you would type out the command start on Windows or open on Mac OS if you want to open a file. But for me, I just use the letter O for open, use tab completion, and now it opened it in my editor. So now you see that VS Code identified this as an untracked file. I'm gonna paste in my code and I'll explain exactly what it does. Okay, so let me scroll up. This is basically an editor config file and it makes sure that the IDEs and code editors that support this file will utilize the rules here. So I'm saying that this is the root where this file is in the DevWP theme. This is the root of that project. And then using this command over here, I'm saying apply all these rules to all the files. The character set is gonna be UTF-8. End of line is gonna be LF for the Unix file system, insert final new line, set to true, trim trailing white space, set to true, indent style, it's gonna be set to tab, and that's because of the WordPress coding standards. But then I have these rules over here because some of the different files will require different rules. So in these brackets right here, I have the all and then period. And then in these braces right here, I have the files that these rules are gonna be applied to. So it'll be period, JSON, dist, or MD, those types of file extensions. The indent style instead of tab will be space. Indent size will be two. You can set that to four, but now I have it set here to two. And then for all MD files, I'm trimming the trailing white space. For TXT files, I'm gonna leave it to CRLF. For XML files, it's gonna be indent style space and then indent size four. Now you could change these up, you could change the values, you could play around with it to suit your needs or your styling preferences. But this is just to make sure you have consistent styling in terms of your code and your projects. Now you will need the editor config for VS Code, this extension. And if you wanna have the shortcut that uh, allows you to reformat the file, for those particular types of files, you would need these various tools. All right, but that's the editor config file. It's very good to use. It helps to ensure consistency in terms of your code style. I definitely recommend reading up on the requirements of your project. If you're working on WordPress, it would be the coding standards and making sure that your files adhere to that in terms of the spacing and the tabs and indentation and things of that nature. Now there's other linting that we're gonna be doing, but this gives you a start. All right, so I'm gonna go back to terminal. I'm gonna use my alias to go back to the roots of this project. I'll use my alias for git status. We see we added a file. I'll use my alias for git add and then that file. And then I'll use my alias for git commit with message. Put in my single quotation marks with my message. Added editor config file. Now if I do git status again, we see everything's committed and we're working on a clean tree. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, head on over to pixelmerb.com and purchase a copy of DevWP. With that again, you'll get all the files, the folders, and the documentation. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or opinions, leave them down below. And I will see you in the next video. Happy coding.